familiar with the term backwards lawn jump? Well, what if I told you that the science behind it? Okay. As you can tell, a backwards lawn jump huh, is what you do when you lawn jump backwards. Pretty obvious, right? Wrong. You have to go somewhere via... I mean, her example, the bottom of the endless staircase, that has weird collision. That brings us to the topic we have today. Okay, so we all know that ba lawn jumping is due to a backwards lawn jump hump it, with a weird collision, which gives Mario rocket ignition, which makes you do a perfect BLJ, which triggers a blast off, off which sends Mario shooting up. Up the staircase and into here. Wait, hold on. Isn't this supposed to be a portal that brings you all the way back to the bottom of the staircase? That means Mario must be invisible for a second, making him face through the portal. Well, meaning the endless staircase isn't so endless. This which leads to two different paths. Okay, so we know that had speedrunners use glitches to get through. So if we add that and the perfect BLJ, it means that backwards lawn jump is a glitch. Let's go look at the second one. That mean, I mean this means that there are wormholes in between the two staircases. Which is obviously a trap set from Bowser. So if we add that and a glit in the backwards lawn jump, we get avoidability times the amount of wormholes we go through. I mean, multiply it by the amount of wormholes we go to through, and we get parallel universes. That is the science behind the backwards lawn jump. Um, let me know if you want to make this whole thing a series that makes us explain the stuff behind video game stuff. Alright, subscribe for more. Bye!